The Inspiring Science Education Project have developed an approach to incorporating inquiry-based learning in the classroom. It consists of five learning activities that can be applied to any subject. These include orienting and asking questions, hypothesis generation and design, planning and investigation, analysis and interpretation, conclusion and evaluation. This video will guide you through the learning activities with the use of the example topic, Do Sports Drinks Work? Before starting the learning activity, a teacher needs to have a clear idea of the student's knowledge and skills, as well as being aware of any gaps. They can then adjust the learning goals accordingly. IBL is focused on answering questions or solving problems, and these can be introduced to the class in different ways. In this case, the class is introduced to the topic with a YouTube documentary exploring whether or not sports drinks work. Students can also be provided with links to further related articles and videos discussing sports drinks, energy bars and gels. The students are then split into small groups and are encouraged to discuss the issue and ask questions with the guidance of a worksheet. The worksheet gradually leads them to the question, what is food and why is it important? Ideally, we want the students to establish for themselves that energy comes from food and that it can be measured. They can then think about how they could investigate the amount of energy in food. In this learning activity, students are asked to try and link the different concepts together and construct a hypothesis that they could investigate. The teacher's role is to facilitate the process with supporting questioning to help the students choose a suitable path. In this instance, the teacher will help the groups move towards a hypothesis of whether or not there is more energy in certain types of foods, such as energy bars or sports drinks, compared to more traditional foods or drinks. Each student documents the progression towards the hypothesis in a learning journal where teachers are able to assess the individual's learning and spot gaps in their knowledge. Once they have developed their hypothesis, students then set out to plan an experiment to test it. A teacher can provide various materials, resources and tools to aid the experiments and students can also be encouraged to develop their own alternatives. In this inquiry, the teacher could introduce them to suitable simulations and e-tools, such as a bomb calorie meter and online calorie counters or apps. These will allow students to measure energy in different foods. Along with simulations, students could also assess the effects of a sports drink compared to water by measuring participant speed over 100 meters. Students can use data loggers to collect the data and tabulate all their results before sharing it with the teacher. The students can then examine their data to see if it supports their hypothesis. A teacher can help with this process by organising all the collated data and perhaps help the students interpret the data. They could also introduce solutions found by experts and compare them with the student solutions. Or they could highlight different approaches to the research. To show whether or not sports drinks work, the students will analyse their data and compare energy levels from different foods. They can then decide to what extent their data supports their hypothesis. Students can present their work to the rest of the class and they should be given the opportunity to discuss, evaluate and reflect on their findings. They can also think about what they might do differently 
if they were to explore this area again. Reflection is an important step in the learning process as it enables students to recognise similar questions in the future or perhaps lead to new inquiries. The teacher can encourage students to relate their findings to other topics. For example, with the energy inquiry, students can relate their data to diets and health. This example can be manipulated by a teacher to suit their learning objectives. Some of these could include the following. To help with the process of developing these five learning activities, the ISE have created a template encouraging teachers to write a narrative for their lesson plan. It helps teachers to organise their inquiry activities and to highlight areas of focus. It also allows them to experiment with different ideas and set realistic goals for student achievement. Inquiry-based learning has many benefits and has been shown to be an excellent teaching methodology for 21st century learning. Although there are some constraints for adopting RBL, it's important not to let these overshadow the many benefits. Why not take the first step in adopting inquiry-based learning in your classroom and help your students develop the skills to become lifelong learners?